Okay, this video today is to show you how to install the uh, Raspbian Buster OS on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. This is the Pi that I'm using today. Uh, so we have to go to the raspberrypi.org download webpage. I'm going to leave uh, the links in the description for this. Then you select uh, the Raspbian that you want to download. In this case, I'm going to use the Raspbian Buster with desktop. Click under uh, download zip. The file is start downloading, but I already download this, so I'm gonna cancel this download, and then I'm gonna show you that I have it uh, right here, Russian Buster zip file. After you download uh, the Buster OS, you have to a uh, format your SD card. For that, we're gonna use the SD uh, formatter software. Again, uh, link in the description. I'm going to uh, download the uh, SD memory card formatter for Windows in this case because I'm using Windows. Click on the download and uh, have to accept the agreement for this. And as you can see, the download is start as well. But this is going to be faster, obviously. Uh, let's check in here. It's again, well, I downloaded it twice. That's why it's here twice. But it's as easy as that. Then you just unzip the file, install the software, and it's uh, pretty easy. Um, also, we're going to need uh, the etcher software. This software is to burn the image that we download into the SD card. Uh, Balena Etcher is the web page right here. Uh, you can go all the way, and then you can see that you can select the download for. It depends if you want uh, uh, etcher for Windows installer, you want to be portable, you know, install it on a USB drive, or you have a Mac or a Linux computer. In my case, it's a, a Windows. So the web page selects automatically which operating uh, system you have, download for Windows 64 bits. <laughs> uh, so you just download it, click, and that's it. I already downloaded it and installed it. So after that, let's go to a format first the SD card so you just open the SD card formatter software okay this is the software you're gonna select the card after you plug it into your uh, computer to Windows computer in my case select the drive it's F select quick format and if you want you can label it volume label you can put a raster and click on format. It's a warning that you're gonna delete, the software is gonna delete everything. Just accept. And formatting was successfully completed. Click on OK. And we just close this software. So uh, then we open the Valena Etcher. Valena Etcher software. We're gonna use it to burn the uh, Buster image into the uh, SD card. This process uh, take a little bit longer, but I'm gonna pause the video recordings and come back when everything is done. So once you open the software etcher, you're gonna select the image that you wanna uh, burn. My case is under downloads. With this software, you don't have to unzip the file. You just have to select the zip file. It's gonna be fine. Etcher will do it for you. You just select it, open then you have to select where you're going to burn the, the image. In this case, etcher selected by you uh, for you. I have a uh, 16 gigabytes SD card. It's already selected. Continue. And then you just have to go on flash. It's going to start right after the permissions. And it's going to start burning the image. Like I said, I'm going to pause the video, then uh, when it's done, I'm going to come back. 0% start flashing. Okay guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, etcher flash the image into the SD card, already done. So we go to, in this case, um, 
we go to check the PCs. We can see it here because Etcher automatically eject the SD card. So we have to plug it and plug it back, plug it back into Windows. So you can see here the boot H drive has been created. Okay. Well, this message is because uh, Windows don't recognize the format, the file format for uh, Linux on this card. That's why I got this message, but nothing is wrong. Um, well, this is the uh, software that is already installed on this card. So next step will be, we can close everything. Uh, I'm going to check the card and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. And then uh, we're going to see uh, how the Buster OS looks. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we are back. So we connect the SD card and the Raspberry Pi. We turn it on. And this is the uh, desktop interface that you will see. Now, uh, there is different options to connect uh, to the Raspberry Pi. You can use your keyboard, mouse, and um, monitor. You plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Power supply, obviously, turn it on, and then you can work from there. But there is also, if you don't have access to a mon extra monitor, a keyboard, or a mouse, you, you can access to your, your Raspberry Pi through an uh, SSH session, for example. If you want to use just a command lines, we use a software called Party, which you can access uh, through a with a BNC viewer software, for example, and the you will have the desktop interface, the one that we're having right now. But I'm going to show you how to access to the Pi on those different ways and different videos. So here, for example, I'm uh, accessing the Pi through a VNC session. Okay, but it will be the same if you connect your monitor, your mouse, and your keyboard directly to the Pi. You're going to see the same. Uh, okay, so. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi. Give you the IP automatically. Go next. You have to select your country, in this case, United States, language American, time zone. Okay. It's New York. Use English language. Use keyboard. US keyboard. Next. So the Pi starts setting the location. Obviously, you have to be connected to the internet as well with your Ethernet cable. Connected to your uh, modem, your router, your switch, depending what you're using on your network. Okay, asking you for a password. Um, the default password for the Raspberry Pi, the, us the username is Pi, and the password is Raspberry. This guy gives you the option to uh, change that uh, password. So uh, we're going to do it here. Change the password. Click Next. Well, in this case, uh, if you're using a monitor, direct monitor, with your keyboard and mouse, you won't have to select this. But um, in my case, I'm just going to pass this. I'm not going to select this screen. It shows a black border around the desktop, which it shows. But I'm going to change the resolution of the VNC viewer uh, in a different way. And I will show you that on a different video as well. So in this case, I just go next. Uh, Wi-Fi, I'm going to skip because I'm connected directly with the Ethernet uh, cable. If you are going to be connected through a Wi-Fi, you can select it here. Skip in my case, update software. I'm going to skip this and I'm going to show you how are you going to update the software via uh, the command line. So I'm going to skip this. Setup is complete. And your Pi is now set up and ready to go. So I'm going to restart. I'm losing the VNC connection, so I'll be back and connect it again, okay? Okay, so one more time, we're back. So this is a, how the Buster interface will look on your Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Okay, so remember I told you that uh, don't update uh, the, uh, the Raspbian OS through the GUI. Well, now we're going to do it through the command line. So for that... You just open a terminal and you're going to type sudo apt get update. Obviously, you have to be connected to the internet for that. 
so we're going to update that repositories of a faster OS. It might take a little bit, maybe not this one, but the next command is going to be sudo apt get upgrade. And uh, it, this one can take a little longer of the usual. This depends. This is a fresh installation, so it can take uh, long. I'm going to pause and think about when it's done. Okay, so we're back. Then the uh, upgrade is done. We have our uh, Buster operating system running and working. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the configuration. So we select uh, the preference Raspberry Pi configuration. So with this uh, interface, you can make some uh, changes. For example, uh, SSH and BNC that I was uh, talking about has to be enabled in order to access remotely to the Pi through SSH or through a VNC viewer session. Uh, we also have other options, the overclock, the GPU memory. But uh, you want to do it through the command line, you can you have to uh, run the, the raspy config command. And you will have access to the configuration as well. Change user's password. If you want to change the password that we did at the beginning, you can uh, do it through here. Asking you for a new password. They change it, let's say. Something you won't see when you type. Enter. Enter again. Powerful change successfully. You also have the network options. To select a uh, Wi Fi. If you want to log in into any uh, Wi Fi. In this case, I'm on a, with the Ethernet cable. So I don't need to do this. We have. Well, I like to update this tool, which is the Raspi config. You go there and then use uh, faster start updating this particular uh, part of the software, the Raspi config. This is going to be quick. It's done. Mm, advanced options. Here you can have a uh, all the expanses of it. Now the buster do it automatically uh, with the first boot. In this case is showing you uh, well the root partition has been resized. Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Well, just want to show you that this is uh, another option in order to set up the Raspberry Pi as well. Okay, we finished this. We have to reboot now. Uh, no, we can reboot it later. Click and then we exit. And that's it. And we have here the browser. We can use the Raspberry Pi as a regular desktop machine. Chromium. Things we can assign. And then we just can navigate. As uh, usual. Come, we're connected via Ethernet. There you go. Should set of the MBA like basketball. So everything working fine. Perfect. Okay, so that'll be all, guys. I hope uh, I can help you in any way. And I'm, I'm going to be posting uh, the other videos about how to access uh, the Pi remotely with an SSH session or a VNC viewer session. And also, oh, a VPN, a Pi VPN. So you can access uh, to a different uh, networks through the VPN. I will show you that later on too. Okay, thank you guys.